Good day, viewers. This will be a review of WEBM players for macOS. As you may already know, WEBM files aren't supported by QuickTime. This format is used for embedded videos, like on YouTube, so it can be played in mainstream browsers. But that's far from the best way to watch. I'm going to review several WebM compatible players and I'll even tell you how to convert WEBM files if you really want to play them in QuickTime. And the first of these players is L Media Player. You can get it for free both from the official website and from the App Store. And you'll be surprised how much it can do. For instance, you can put a bunch of videos in a playlist, and export it, this is useful if you want to sort your .webms into multiple intersecting categories. Single video looping is smooth, and you can select a timeline segment to loop. There are lots of video options to tune, including brightness, contrast, and hue. Playback speed can also be controlled, good for WEBM videos with high FPS. For added control, there's an audio EQ with 10 sliders and many useful presets. With Media Pro, .webm videos can be streamed to a smart TV or an HDMI dongle, it's compatible with AirPlay 2, DLNA, and Chromecast. No need to set it up, just make sure that your device is on the same network, and choose it from the streaming menu on the bottom right. So far, having tried lots of players, I haven't found any that would measure up to Media Player. Not to mention, it's free to try, and the Pro upgrade is inexpensive. It's my media player of choice, and I'm sure that most advanced users would agree. And it's simple to use, too. Hold and drag your WEBM file from the desktop or from Finder to the L Media Player window or to the playlist. And double-clicking will work too, once you set L Media as the default WEBM player. Right-click any WEBM, then open with Other, find L Media Player in the list on the left, and check Always Open With. VLC is also an option when it comes to playing WEBM. The abundance of features is somewhat brought down by the suboptimal interface. Like the library bar on the left, for instance. There are also unwieldy hotkeys, like A, which changes the video's aspect ratio, it's easy to push on accident, and then you have to push it again several times to get back to the default resolution. Decent if you don't care about the UI. 5K player is pretty advanced, and it even comes with some simplistic video editing features. It's also suspicious, I got some pop-ups while using it, and users reported other strange phenomena, like sign-up forms and difficulties deleting the app. You're free to make your own conclusions, but to me, these are red flags, and I'd stay away from 5K player altogether. IINA is a visually pleasant media player. Its interface is customizable, but doesn't get dragged down by the options. Still, as a free app, it lacks some important features, like DLNA and AirPlay streaming. With plugin support, additional functionality is probably relegated to third-party developers, but the problem with plugins is that they tend to get abandoned and not supported in the long term. It's worth keeping an eye on IINA, but I'd recommend a commercial player for reliability. There's a way to play WEBM without additional players, you can use a converter to change your file to a format that's compatible with QuickTime. Here's how you do it with Conversio, open the website, choose your files, select MP4 for output, and click Convert. This method is pretty slow, so I'd rather just get a player that supports .webm. If you have a .webm library, you should have no trouble viewing it on macOS, especially after watching this video, but some of these solutions are better than others. My personal preference is L Media Player, since it has all the necessary features to watch and manage WebMS. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.